Well, good morning, folks. Good afternoon or good evening. It's lovely to see you as usual. And I hope that I find you very well indeed. And thank you for popping over just to see what I got in this week's family food shop. If you're new, my name's Cheryl. We are a family of four from the west coast of sunny Scotland. And it is lovely and sunny at the moment. You know, spring has definitely sprung. So we went to Sainsbury's for a wee click and collect order. I spent just over... Eighty pounds. I'm not going to get to the local butcher this week, so I did get a few meaty bits and bobs. So I picked up some four cheese blend. You know, this just saves you having to buy four different blocks of cheese because it's all in there. But I also got an extra cheddar just for grating, and then some butter and also some lard. I'm going to be doing hot water pastry, so that's what I need the lard for. Some cream and a cucumber. Mr. Watts for teas trifles. He's going for the raspberry this week instead of the strawberry. Just, you know, he's just going mad, isn't he? And then some parsley, some apples, and then some salad. And then a different type of salad. I'm going to have this one for a lunch with some chicken mixed through. It's just a nice, quick and easy lunch. And they're quite cheap as well. Some celery sticks. I'm going to be doing a ploughman's lunch. So that's what the celery's for. And then I managed to get King Edward potatoes instead of our normal Maris Pipers. A lovely tiger loaf. This smelled absolutely amazing and it's got a lovely texture. And again, I'll just put a chunk of this on the side of the ploughman's lunch that I'm doing. A big bag of carrots because these just are so veg vegetable, versatile. They go with everything. And then some tender stem broccoli and a huge watermelon. Well, I've been getting this the last week or so and everyone is really enjoying this. I don't like melon. Mr. What's for Tea is loving the melon. Some muesli and also some cheesies. I've been getting these for snacking on and it's just popped pieces of cheese. You know, they're quite crunchy and very moorish. I needed some gelatin. And then some individual, um, I'm going to say yogurt pots, oh my goodness, custard pots, some vegetable oil and also some olive oil. I was completely out of both of them. I needed some plain flour for, I'm doing a hot water pastry. I'm going to be doing pork pies to go along with the ploughman's lunch. A quiche for a quick and easy midweek tea. And then a wee sweet and then some normal broccoli. I always tend to get the same sort of veg, you know. I always go for the broccoli, the sweet, the cabbage. Uh, it's just a habit. <laughs> That's what we like. And then some chicken stock for the pork pies. I got some pork loin. And then I also got some sandwich ham, you know, just for sandwiches. <laughs> Then I also got some pickled onions and some onion chutney. Again, this is just for the side at the of the ploughman's lunch that I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to be showing you how I'm doing the pork pies. Some thyme, some sage and some parsley. And then, like I said, I'm not going to get to the local butcher. So I've got that wee steak pie. We have had it before and it is nice. A couple of wee chicken Kievs. It's just going to be me and Mr. What's for tea. Some mince for the pork pies. And then I got these wee steaks to cut up for stir fry. They didn't have any stir fry beef, so I'll cut those up. And then some tin foil and some cling film as well. I find the bako foil is the best for us. A big bag of garden peas for the freezer. And then a wee vanilla and cake roll. Vanilla ice cream and cake roll. Some jacket potatoes and then some chips. I just get whatever's on offer. And this week it was those. And then some salt and vinegar snacker jacks. And that was everything that I got from Sainsbury's. Like I said, quite a lot there for the money. Quite a few dinners and like I said, quite a few ingredients for that ploughman's lunch that I'm going to be doing. Just before I move on, I wanted to say, as usual, a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page. And to the channel members, of course, here on YouTube as well. And I do have to update those lists. And thank you very much for supporting the channel. Thank you all for watching, leaving your lovely comments. And for those who share the videos, it's all very much appreciated. And thank you for taking five minutes out of your day to spend with me. Because time is precious and I really do appreciate that. Like I said, I'm going to be doing the ploughman's lunch. I will be recording that and I'll probably put it up for you to see. We are going away for a few night so that might be the recipe that I pop up when we go away and I'm going to do the pork pies as well which I've never done before but they don't look that difficult so I'm going to give them a bash because we do like a wee pie every now and then and I know you guys like to watch the pies as well so I'm going to get off now and I will catch up with you on Sunday for meals of the week and I'm also waiting on my muscle food order so whatever comes first is when you'll see me so mind to take care of yourselves and I'll see you off as soon 
back here on What's For Tea. Bye now.